Hello, Hendrix Elementary. This is Mrs. Tijerina coming to you with another book today. Today is day three of National Library Week, and today our theme is uh, to wear your superhero shirts or gear um, as you do your work today at home. Um, we are honoring our superheroes, which this in this time are all the essential workers that are still having to go to work every day. They are our doctors, our nurses, our police officers and our firefighters, even um, our employees at HEB, everyone who is taking a part in providing for us and keeping us safe during this time. These essential workers, we are very thankful for them um, and all that they do. The story that I selected today, the main character is an essential worker. It's a fun one that I've read for many, many years and I'm happy to read it to you today. Our story is called Officer Buckle and Gloria, and it's by an author, her name is Peggy Rathman. And before I begin, I wanna thank Penguin Books for allowing us to read their books online during this time of distance learning. Let's get started. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Now boys and girls, this is a really important tip. You should never ever stand on chairs, but especially those that move, very dangerous. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with students of Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle. Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Napville's police department brought bought a dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Boys and girls, if you look at the first illustration, you can see what? You're right. Gloria is mimicking Officer Buckle. Let's see if she continues. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and they cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how fun safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. And what we can see as the reader, boys and girls, that Officer Buckle can't see is that Gloria is putting on quite the show. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students of Napville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawings showed a lot of imagination. And if you look, one of the letters says, Dear Gloria and Officer Buckle, 
Thank you for coming to our school. You are nice. Your friend, George. And most of the letters kind of follow the same, but all of them have a picture, an illustration of Gloria. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumb checking Claire's letter to the bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, daycare centers, they were all calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please, bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. And after every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle at the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and they applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. And look at crazy Gloria. The next day, the principal of Natville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Can she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a paddle of Banana pudding, splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I'm wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. And then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101, always stick with your buddy. And that's the end of that story. Boys and girls, I hope that you are enjoying distance learning. Um, I want you to think about all the essential workers that you know. Um, maybe you know a firefighter or a police officer or somebody, maybe somebody who works at the grocery store and is having to continue working. Uh, during COVID-19, while some of us are home and staying safe, they're putting their lives at risk every single day. Doctors, nurses, there's so many that we can think of. Maybe this is a good day for you to thank them. Maybe you can write them a letter. Just the way you saw that the students wrote Officer Buckle and Gloria letters, this might be a good time for you to write someone a letter. Maybe somebody you know, maybe somebody who you don't know. This is a great opportunity for us to say thank you to all those who are serving us and providing for our community. 
I hope you all have a great day. We will see you again tomorrow with another story. Bye.